So for this video, we are taking on the Chamber of Lorcan in Return to Clockwork City on Master Difficulty. Uh, this is one of those encounters where they give you two options. For this video, we are going to choose Use the Heart. Uh, hopefully you can tell from the image that I have up on screen. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Almost everything in our deck costs seven or more, with a few small exceptions, and that's because we... Uh, get to refill our hand every turn and have infinite magicka every turn So we're just trying to play the most powerful things that we can um, That also means having lots of answers. So we're playing spell sword because we get a bunch of hard removal and we get things like the dragon cult uh, Ghost uh, let's send that back. Kevin prophecies is still pretty important um, I like having an answer and we'll start with uh, parse that's fine. So uh, players start at 60 at the start of each player's turn they refill their hand to four cards and as you can see uh, we have lots and lots of magic so shenanigans um, I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and start with Mechanar. No reason not to. Uh, let's go ahead and take the Manticora. Because we want to blow up this Iron Nature Knot. Let's go ahead and arrest our good buddy. Uh, we have nothing in our grave right now, so the Grave Singer doesn't do a ton for us. But we're still going to develop it because our hand refills next turn anyway. Up to four. And that's it. So one of the best things that you can get early in this, assuming they don't have answers, is the the ghost, the dragon cult ghost. Simply because it uh, it shows up as like a 100-100 creature. Like it's pretty impressive. Um, let's just do this to get these out of our hand, to be honest. So they got an Iron Nature Knight back, so we're gonna save uh, our Manticora. Witness my no reason to not punch him. Get that free health down. Um, again, nothing really for us to soul tear either. I can't waste energy talking to boring people. So the Mechanar will be fun. Hiding will not save you. Alright. Hey! There's a ghost. So Mechanar goes ahead and uh, makes us something. We're clearly going to take the uh, Knight Talon Lord option here. But because this will keep bringing something back, we actually want to suicide our, our Mechanar even before we use our, our Manticora here. Let's just go and get rid of that. Let's start uh, whittling that down. Um, I know that this thing is massive, but I think we should still, like, it's going to be big enough that we can still play the other cards and feel good about it. So let's go ahead and play that. Let's go ahead and play that. Let's just new here. And we could Soul Tear Mechanar, but we kind of wanted it it to potentially come back from that. They will serve me in death! Hell, 
and we'll play our 7676 Dragon Cult Ghost. My family stands together. They play a massive dragon called Ghost of Their Own. But uh, we're fine. So we're just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. We're going to go ahead and suicide our Manticora so that we can get it with Solitaire. Because Manticora will kill Nahaglieve. And then our our ghost can finish the job. Um, this is it. You probably aren't struggling with this encounter um, because of anything other than not having cards, right? Like, I guess that's the best way I can put it. Um, if you're a veteran, your collection is big enough that you just cram as many expensive cards as you can in. Uh, if you're a newer player, just kind of pay attention to Dragon Cult Ghost. I know it's an epic and it sucks to credit, you know, craft something specifically for this encounter, but uh, as you can see right here, basically resolving this and letting it live for a turn is enough to get you past this encounter. Uh, complete master difficulty for Return to Clockwork City. So that's the suggestion I would make. Um, so yeah, if you were struggling, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching, and until next time, may you walk on warm sands.